<clears throat> money is weird. Fundamentally, if it's a small amount of money, we know exactly what it does. I have a buck, you will give me a cup of coffee for it. Great, everything works fine. And we like to think of money as a means to facilitate the exchange of goods between people who create value. Cool. I made a pot. You made an arrowhead. I don't actually need arrowheads today, but I could use some corn. Your buddy has some corn. So we trade money and we're all happy. That's the idea, right? And in small amounts, that's how it works, which is wonderful. But then you start getting in big amounts, things get so weird. What does it mean to own part of a company? How is it, at my peak, I made $250,000 a year. And at that number, money was changing. It wasn't, you know, I had more money than I needed, and that allowed me to do magical things with and do investments and all sorts of things. And last year, I made more money doing nothing than I ever made doing something. And whether you think that's good or bad, it's pretty weird. And that's what I want you to be thinking about. That's weird. Is that really how you want your country to run, and the world to run? And of course, when you got really, really big amounts of money, then money can be used to buy more money. You can bribe people, essentially, to give you government money, government jobs, etc., etc., and it happens all the time. This is standard. This is how the vast majority of things actually happen. However they do it under the rug, the net result is it is always ends up being a transfer of money from the people who create things, the 99%, to the people who just sit on top. And yeah, that's weird. And whether you think that's good or not, think about it. What do you want your society to be like?